Hey guys, back to uh, part two of my video, where in part one I went through and did all the ignition components, put all those, uh, replaced them and put them all, all new. Uh, now we're going to do the timing of the top and bottom cylinder, uh, how they would have done it at the factory. And here I've got the, or a reproduction of the factory service tool that I'll put in a link in the description on where to find those. Um, I've got one for the one and a, I believe it's the one and a half and three horsepower is what this one covers and then I've got one that covers I think up to uh, 10 or 15 of certain years but that'll all be in the descriptions for um, where you can find these. So this is tool 383603 for the one and a half and three horsepower made out of aluminum so it's really durable um, there's a position for the top cylinder with a timing mark and the bottom cylinder with a timing mark and then it's cut out and tapered for the crankshaft and the keyway so that just slides right on to the crankshaft like so all the way down and then, if I can see it, I'm going to have to probably pick you guys up and move you around here. Because right here, there's two lines. And when we do this, you want this line uh, at the beginning or in the middle of these two lines when the points are just about to open. So we'll get get started with that. So here I've got my automotive multimeter that uh, set to continuity. And I found it's easier. I've got a set of leads where I can change out the ends on it from probes to the regular just little points or I've got two sets of um, alligator clips that I can clip onto here. So first we'll test for continuity between the leads. We're good. <clears throat> so the service manual that I have, or at least a section of a service manual for timing ignition, uh, says to do the ignition at full advance. And I take the ground clip and ground it to the mag plate. And then the positive will go to the points. Now, we'll get that line lined up. where it's just at the beginning and right about the middle and then my clip, my positive clip will go to the point where the two wires would connect and, when I, and what I do is after again losing my screwdriver GoPro, pause. Take your hold down screw and loosen it, which is the big screw, just loosen it a little bit. And then adjust your points. So there they're touching, I have continuity, and you want to do it just until it stops. So right there. And I just 
hold it with a finger and then our top cylinder is set and then I will disconnect that. I'll disconnect the both of them for the time being to do this. And the procedure is exactly the same for the top or for the bottom as it is for the top. So I'll need to undo my point screw. move these out of the way so they're not touching and then rotate the engine around until we're right where we need to be right about there and then same thing so I'll do one clip to that and one clip to my negative and then go just until they touch. There. So I'll remove that, hold this down, <clears throat> now <clears throat> I may or may not need to repair this because like I said in previous video this the bottom cylinder's adjustment screw is missing, it, was, it looks like it's been broken so may or may not work, we'll see. Not a biggie, I just got to drill it out and put a new one in it. So then, it's just a matter of hooking back up the leads on your screws and making sure they're not touching ground anywhere. that one. We can pull our timing tool off. And feed our screws. Screwdriver in there.
pad. There. And that is the ignition replacement and timing on a Johnson or Evinrude one and a half, three horsepower, uh, all the way up to you know whatever his tools cover, which is right up until the the 40 horsepowers, I think 40s and 50s horsepowers. Um, it covers quite a few. Some of the tools cover, including into the later years. Um, so and then we can. Uh, there's my keyway. I'll stick that back on. And put our puller plate cover, ignition cover back on. and lock nut. I'll have to look at the torque specs, but on the larger motors, such as like this five horsepower CB that uses pretty much all the same, does use all the same ignition components, carburetor kit, water pump, as the Johnsons and Evinrudes of the time of similar horsepower. This was a five; it would it would uh, equate to the five and a half, seven and a half. Um, the flywheel nuts on those are about 45 foot pounds. Um, uh, when I go back and look, I'll go and edit a spot in this video that shows where or what poundage this is torqued to. But I'll, I'll assume it's probably about 40 to 45 foot pounds. Alright, that concludes this video. Thanks for watching.